Tonight, the second game of the Legion Ball kicked off at Montana in Montana at Heroes Park. MTN's John Miller shares how excited people are to have sports in their lives again. Back in mid-March, I was at Brick Field Fieldhouse when the state double-A basketball tournament was canceled. Fast forward to tonight and the Bozeman Bucks take on the Belgrade Bandits as sports returns to Montana. Oh, I'm Jack. I think our kids are probably more excited than me, but I've um, been looking forward for this for quite a while. It feels kind of back to normal a little bit, you know, playing baseball games. It's been a funny spring, so uh, I think I'm very excited. I think the guys are too. For parents, it's just nice to see their children playing again. It's uh, exciting. Um, he's excited. Team's excited. Coaches. Um, I think it breathing a little bit of life back into you know, the valley. And for the players, this has been a long time in the making. I was waiting for the day we could start, get back out here. Since we've just been doing the scrimmages in there, I was just really wanting to go out here and see some real ball. Missoula couldn't get approval for the Legion Baseball Tournament, but Bozeman could, and games will be played here Friday, Sunday, and Monday. However, they still have to take precautions. Now we're doing a lot of things to be as safe as we can and, and limit attendance tonight. It's fun to, pl to play in front of big crowds, but tonight we're trying to keep it family only. So family of players and coaches, um, some media, and then our volunteer staff. Only our starters and our coaches are gonna be in the dugouts, and then our reserves are gonna be down the line in the bullpens just to try to uh, limit how many people we have in one area. Despite the precautions, the players are happy to be with their friends and for the Bucks, a chance to repeat the state title. I'm so pumped. These guys are amazing. I love all of them. It's just so fun being out here with them. In Bozeman, John Miller, MTN Sports. The Bucks, by the way, beat the Bandits 13 to 4, though it looked like it was just so great to be playing that might have been secondary tonight.